welcome to my channel. This video is a Christmas present with a special guest that will speak about castration in horses. So this will be my first video on surgery instead of medicine. The special guest is David Arguelles, who studied at the University of Barcelona, where he also did an internship, a residency in surgery and a PhD. He worked in many different hospitals all around the world and he obtained the diploma of the European College of Veterinary Surgeons in 2018. He is now working at the University of Cordoba. So I leave you with his explanation. Good morning everyone. In this video we will talk about the standing castration technique in the horse and in particular about the open technique. First of all, we will talk a little bit about the anatomy of the testicle of the horse. As you can see in the pictures, there is a direct communication between the abdomen and the scrotum through the internal and external inguinal rings. There are several tunica recovering the testicle. The most important one is the uh, tunica vaginalis. Uh, then if we open the tunica vaginalis uh, during the castration, the technique is called open. If we don't open it, then it's close. It's, it's a technique uh, called close. Or if we open it and then we close it afterwards, then we call uh, semi-open or semi-close technique. As you can see in the next picture, there is the red testis with the main blood vessels of the testicle, the spermatic cord, the parenchyma testicularis, and the epididymum. Before starting with the surgery, it is very important to sedate the horse, clean very well the area and then put local anesthetic in the skin, in the port, and in the parenchyma of the testicle. Then we will uh, summarize that there is uh, several techniques for castrating the horse, standing or antigen anesthesia, open, close, semi-open, or via laparoscopy. In this video, we will explain the open standing technique. It would be convenient to have a stocks to contain the horse and also to use the twitch and the station before starting with the surgery but we can do also the surgery without the stocks. We sedate the horse, put the twitch, clean the area, put the local anesthesia in the testicle, skin and cord, and then we do two incisions parallel to the rafe over each testicle. Then we open the skin, the tunicas, the tunica vaginalis, and then we sterilize the testicle and the epididymum and the spermatic cord and red the testis. We dis dissect and separate the epididymal ligament and make a transfixation ligature over the red the testis and the spermatic cord as shown in the pictures. The transfixation ligature avoids the situ to slip from its place and uh, then we place the emasculator for five minutes distally to the ligature and we remove it. Of course, before removing it, we first check that the ligature is working and nothing is bleeding. Then, at the film, we will not close or suture the, the tunica vaginalis or the skin to avoid the risk of infection. The other techniques normally are performed in the surgical theater and the gene anesthesia, and then normally we close the tunica vaginalis and the skin.